so hello and welcome back and in this video we'll be taking a look at how we can build an emoji switcher like discord and i'm not talking about the whole emoji switcher okay that you see the overlay and then you you pick up your emoji i'm not talking about that it's a simple hover effect that you can do in html css and javascript and as you can see um actually i i I was inspired from this article right here by Savio Martin who is a 13, 13 year old boy and he, he, he writes a lot of articles on hash notes so I was inspired by this one and I created a video so you can also read this one if you want I will leave this link in the description below but we will be building this uh, in just five minutes maybe not five minutes because i have to explain you also so like this okay so whenever you hover over something and let me show you a demo he also has a demo right over here so uh, for uh, by default it will be gray scaled and when i hover over it it will change its emoji uh, to another face emoji and it will expand so that's a very simple one uh, let's get started so what do we have first is um, a, an empty folder okay I've created a folder called discord emoji hover and what I can do is wait a minute let me just zoom in so what I can do is I can just create a new file called index.html and then I can create a styles.css and maybe we'll also need a javascript file for that hover effect but we'll do that later so our html will be quite simple okay first of all we are just going to use the boilerplate that uh, Emmet provides us so so i'm going to change the document to discord emoji hover hover effect let's just do that okay and once we do that let me just open this with live server so i can just right click and open with live server that's gonna open it up in live server and it's here okay now it's totally empty right now but still let's just add something so we will add a div with the class of uh, no we will not add a div because it's just a single thing okay and for a single thing i don't want to add a div so we will be adding a span with an id of emoji dash btn and you can create anything you can create a p tag you can create anything okay because this is just a span that we're gonna create as of now and we're gonna put a simple smiley emoji so let's see which one let's put the first one okay so right here this is our html and let's also create a javascript file right now so i'm going to name it app.js you can name it anything you want and let's link those two things so i'm gonna say script src will be dot slash app.js and up there i can just say link to link my style sheet so it will be styles.css okay so once that is done we can move on to our css which is also quite simple we can just go to the body okay we can just select the body first and we can set the margin to zero we can set the padding to zero and we can set the height to 100 vh which means viewport height uh, which means whatever is the current height of your uh, viewport of your device okay so if it is on mobile then it will be less if it is on desktop it will be high so that's vh means viewport height and then we'll add an overflow hidden which with the help of which we cannot we are not able to scroll now okay so this is a simple demo you can you you just need to embed it somewhere right you you don't need to create a whole page for this so you can embed it and put your own styles there and then i can add a width of 100 percent which simply means the width will be the width of the body will be 100 percent okay and let's add a display of flex and background of 
two 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 this color actually so display flex actually means that whatever items we have will be uh, horizontally uh, they will be in a horizontal form and then I can just uh, set align items to center and justify content to center okay so that will actually center our emoji totally now we want to also make this a big a bit bigger so let's select the emoji btn using the id selector and then i can just say font size so let's add so let's make the font size 3 rem so that means it looks a bit bigger but i need still to zoom in i mean yeah it looks fine but let's make it 5 rem in my case okay so this is how it looks like it looks a bit better then let's add a cursor of pointer because that's also what we want if i hover over this it's gonna change my cursor to point and then let's add a border of none so for the uh, span we don't want any border okay so there is nothing now I mean there was nothing but still now let's add a filter so a filter filter of grayscale and we will set it to zero so um if I set it to zero right now you as you can see there is no filter applied but if I set it to one or two or something greater than zero as you can see the filter is applied right now okay it is gray scaled and that's what we want and let's add a transition in the end now why am I adding a transition let's add it for 0 0.1 seconds that means a hundred milliseconds now a transition is because when we hover over this okay and when it expands we want it to transitionally expand okay I'll show you an example by let's just comment this out as of now and then let's add a hover effect so emoji button emoji btn on the hover so on the hover what we're gonna do is simply we are just going to transform and what transform does is it changes its shape or size or position whatever you want so we want to scale it so where is the scale okay we want to scale it by i can scale it to whatever value i want so in the blog post is given 1.23 but you can choose anything you want so when i hover over this as you can see this is too instant and there is no effect of expanding so that's why we added this transition which in the end made it look like this okay so you can make it 1.23 if you want you can even make it only one so that will that will not expand because that is the default value okay that will not scale up you can uh, you can make it 1.2 if you want so that will not be that much but i think 1.23 is a very good value very good choice okay so we will scale it to 1.23 and we also remove the grayscale so i can just copy this i can paste this and let's make this zero or i can also make this empty but right now okay so now when we hover over this you can see we the filter is gone and also it expands i can also make this empty if i want no i cannot oh, my bad okay so we want to make the grayscale zero now <clears throat> now we are done with the html and css so let's jump on to the javascript which is gonna be a lot more fun now javascript is also pretty pretty simple what you can do is just pick up the button element okay button or whatever it is it is actually it is actually a span element but i can just call it anything okay so i can just say const let me just expand this so const btn or i can call it anything i can just say emoji btn okay and that will be equal to document dot get element by id because we want to get something from id and the id is emoji dash btn okay so this will be our emoji btn and then we have an array of emojis so that will be now what we're going to do what what the logic is going to be is that when we put our mouse over the emoji btn what's going to happen is we'll have an array of emojis and it will uh, pick up any random emoji from that array and it's going to replace the 
whatever text we have inside of the span okay so let me show you the demo so what we have is we'll we'll just put this emojis now you can get these uh, you can get these emojis on windows by pressing control plus uh, period or control full stop and you can get some face emojis you want and yep these are quite uh, enough I think okay so these are enough so we have this array of emojis which we are going to uh, from which we are going to pick up a random one now what we want to do is we want to put we want to do something when we hover over this okay so when we put the mouse over this so in javascript what you can do is you can just say emoji button or whatever the thing is i can say dot on mouse over so this is uh, where is it? okay don on mouse over is the event that we are looking for and i can simply execute an arrow function now okay and what i can do is i can just say emoji button so what do we want to do we want to change the inner text okay that's we want that's what we want to change so whatever the inner text inside of emoji button is so that means whatever our text inside of the span is that's what we want to change so that will be equal to emojis index something so if i say index 5 what that will do is it will pick up the fifth index so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it will it will change the emoji to this thing okay let's save and let's take a look so when i put a mouse over this okay as you can see it literally changed but let's just see okay so that's how it worked okay so now we don't want this one only we want many we want the random ones so i can just pick up a random one by generating a random number so i can just say math dot random which will generate a random number and then i can multiply it by the emojis dot length now math dot random is going to generate a random number between zero and one so it will be neither zero nor one so it will generate a random number between zero and one so it can be 0 0.5 or 0 0.66 or anything just anything then when we multiply it by the length and the length is i don't know what's the length but still so if the length is for instance five it will it will generate a random number from zero to five so and also that random number will be decimal so let's uh, we are not going to learn method random here i'm just going to show you how it works so let me just console log actually not here but I, what I can do is I can just go back to the browser and I can right click and inspect. So in the console what I can do is I can say math.random random. So if I do that what it's going to do is it's going to generate any random number between 0 and 1. So if I call it again you see the numbers are different. And if I multiply it by something let's say 5. So oh no. If I multiply it by 5, it's going to generate a round number, number between 0 and 5. Okay, live example for you. But still, it's in decimal form, which we don't want. We want a numeric form. So, what I can do is I can just say math.flow. Okay, and then wrap everything inside of there. So, now if I just press enter, it's only going to generate a. Uh, blank number okay it's not going to generate a, a number with decimals so that's what we want right so let's close this up and <clears throat> in vs code we are now we are right now generating some decimal numbers so we want to floor it down okay so what i can do is i can just use math dot floor and then i can just wrap everything inside the floor function hit save and that's it okay that's it with your project now if I hover over this it's going to change it to any random emoji that I have stored in that array and you can also expand this array to whatever else emoji you want and you can get more emoji if you don't know where the emojis live you can go to emojipedia.org uh, wait a second I 
think I messed something up. So emojipedia.org, you can just go to that website and you can search for emojis. You can also get uh, get some emojis by just going to the categories. It's a very very awesome website. Okay. I hope this video was helpful for you please give it a like and share it and also visit this blog post and give it a like if you want comment down below what you think about it and finally thanks for watching